Now the full impact of the devastating floods across South Asia is becoming clear. Heavy rains at this time of year aren't unusual, but the monsoon rains are the heaviest that India, Nepal and Bangladesh have seen in decades. An estimated 16 million people have been forced from their homes. A third of Bangladesh is still underwater. We can speak now to Dawa Dextra from the Christian Relief and Development Agency Tear Fund who is in the Nepali Nepalese capital, Kathmandu. Dawa, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. I mean, the scale of this is, is truly epic. Just describe to us the, the havoc that has been caused by these rains. Yes, definitely. The, the scale of this is much bigger than we have seen before. Uh, people in the field have told me that, that they used to floods which come up to their knees, but this year the flood has come to be to their um, to the roof level. And uh, while the, uh, the flooding is receding in, in Nepal and, and it's drying up a little bit, we can now see the scale of the impact uh, it has had on the livelihoods of the people in particular. Uh, vegetable crops have been washed away, animals have died in the flooding, and about 65,000 houses uh, have been completely destroyed. It's clear there will be a huge long-term impact from this, but in the immediate term, uh, given the conditions, how difficult is the the rescue and relief effort? Um, Tiffan has uh, partners and staff positions in the areas where the flooding took place. And so basically from, from the day after the flooding, which was two weeks ago, um, those people have been active. They have been uh, distributing food items to people in need. They have been distributing plastic sheets so that people could please make some temporary shelter. And uh, so we have been very active uh, so far. But as you say, there will be a lot of needs going forward, uh, particularly on restoring livelihoods and getting people back on their feet. And for that, Tevin um, has just started uh, an open appeal uh, so that he can continue to provide people with um, temporary shelter, uh, with food, uh, with seeds to uh, start their agriculture again, and all those other things they need. Yes, I mean, how, how, how do you begin to estimate um, what sort of money, what amount of money you might need to raise? Have you put a, a, a figure that you're hoping to raise? Have you put a figure on it? Um, we haven't really put a figure on it, um, but collectively, as, as organizations in, uh, in Nepal, uh, initially, um, the UN have put a figure of a million on it in their appeal. Um, overall, the, um, the government here estimates that, that probably millions uh, of pounds are needed to, uh, to restore the livelihoods again. Okay, Del, we wish you and your organization uh, well with the uh, huge task at hand there. Dawa Dextra from Tear Fund in Kathmandu.